If you share files between your computer and your Synology NAS using SMB, then you'll want to consider enabling SMB multi-channel on your NAS. SMB multi-channel, a feature of SMB 3.0, is a technology that improves network performance and reliability for file servers. It works by automatically detecting and using multiple available network connections between the client and server, distributing data across those connections to maximize bandwidth utilization. On a Synology NAS specifically, SMB multi-channel has been available for use since DSM 7.1 Update 5 and has a few requirements. First, you need multiple network adapters of the same speed on your NAS. You'll also want to have the number of network adapters on the NAS be evenly divisible by the number of adapters on the client to maximize bandwidth availability. In the test environment that I'll be working with, I'll be enabling SMB multi-channel on my Synology DS224+. The NAS has two one gigabit network adapters that I'll be using, and both will be plugged into a TP-Link BE9300 router that has 2.5 gigabit LAN ports. On the client end, I'll configure both a Windows 11 mini PC with a single 2.5 gigabit network interface and a MacBook with two one gigabit network adapters to make use of the SMB multi-channel setup on the NAS. Both devices will also be plugged into the TP-Link BE9300 router. To start off, I'll bring up the Windows 11 mini PC, which has a 2.5 gigabit network interface. If we look at the connection speed of the PC, we can also confirm that it is connected at 2.5 gigabit with the TP-Link router. Next, I'll bring up the DS224 Plus through File Explorer and upload an ISO file to the NAS into a shared folder I created earlier to determine the speed of the transfer before enabling SMB multi-channel. The results show that I'm averaging a little over 110 megabytes per second, which is what I'd expect to get without SMB multi-channel enabled. Now I'll enable SMB multi-channel on the NAS by bringing up the file services control panel. Under the SMB heading, I'll select advanced settings. From the advanced settings window, I'll select others, enable SMB3 multi-channel, click yes on this pop-up window, click save, and yes again on this second pop-up window to finish the setup. Also note that both network interfaces are enabled each has its own IP address, and no additional configuration changes were made. Back on the Windows 11 mini PC, I'll download the ISO file, and now the speed of the transfer is twice what I was getting earlier, confirming that SMB multi-channel is enabled and working properly. I can also bring up a Windows PowerShell session as administrator and run the command get SMB multi-channel connection to get further details on the SMB multi-channel session to the NAS. Here we can see that I am connected to the NAS through its two IP addresses. One thing to note though is that if I upload the same ISO file to the NAS, I don't see the doubling of speed that I got when downloading. I believe this is because the Windows 11 mini PC has only one network interface, and when uploading the file, only a single one gigabit network interface on the NAS is being used at a time. This is why one of the requirements was to have the number of network interfaces used on the client be equal or evenly divisible by those available on the NAS. Back in DSM, I'll disable SMB multi-channel for now, so I can do another upload and download test for my MacBook. Once disabled, I'll bring up my MacBook and launch the Activity Monitor application to monitor the SMB transfer speeds. Next, I'll open a new Finder window and connect to the NAS using the network option listed under Location from the sidebar. I'll double click on the NAS, then click on the Connect As button and log in. Now I'll open the shared folder where I uploaded the ISO file and download the file to my MacBook. 
Switching to the Activity Monitor application, we can see that the data received per second shows a similar speed to what we saw on the Windows 11 mini PC earlier with SMB multi-channel disabled. Now back on the DS224 Plus, I'll re-enable SMB multi-channel by again going to the File Services control panel, then under the SMB section, click on Advanced Settings. Then from the other section, enable SMB3 multi-channel. I'll then switch back to my MacBook, disconnect from the DS224 Plus, and reconnect. Now I'll upload the ISO file, and we can see from the activity monitor that the speeds at least started at double of what I was getting earlier, indicating that the SMB multi-channel setup on the NAS is working properly. On macOS, you can get further details about the SMB multi-channel configuration by opening a terminal session and type in the command smbutil multi-channel a. This will display if an SMB share has multi-channel enabled and show you which network interfaces are in the active state for the SMB session. SMB multi-channel is a great way to increase network file transfer speeds, but only works for the SMB protocol. If you want to improve overall bandwidth and create a fault tolerant network without being limited to just SMB, then you'll want to check out my recent video on link aggregation listed here on screen. Lastly, if you would like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.